Good morning. Um, it's a new day. It's the next day. And um, we have another full day for us. Um, like I mentioned before, constantly doing things. So today is going to be a mix of wrapping bath bombs, making candles. I still have things to make on my list that I need to review. So come along with us and see what another typical day is like for a small business Etsy shop owner. Etsy shop owner. So here are the bath bombs that I made the night before. They turned out so nice. Made with a bath bomb press. And uh, I use crazy color dyes to get this intense, beautiful blue. Um, and then here is another type of bath bomb that I made last night as well. This is our Georgian Bay bath bombs. They have a, an ocean scent. And my husband, Kale, painted these this morning with gold and white diamond mica. So these are going to be wrapped today. Um, yeah. I find that people really like blue bath bombs. People seem to really gravitate towards them um, in the markets. And I can see why. They're very beautiful, I think. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making some candles today. I already got some wax melting on the pot there. Yep. That'll melt down when I get a little bit more room there. I'll put some of the uh, some wax beads in there to fill it up. Yep. And so today, Kale has the Wasega Beach Farmer's Market, which he's going to go to later on today. So we're just um, prepping for that and getting stuff ready, but yeah. you're fitting in some uh, candles before that, huh? Yep. Hope wow. to. Good job. I think we'll get it done. Yeah. I'll also maybe show them how we prep for a market and just kind of see how we pack up our car. <laughs> yeah. That would be a cool thing to show. For our markets from the weekend, we don't really bring the stuff back downstairs. We leave it over in the mudroom staging area. Yeah. And um, because there's only one day between when I go to the next market on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, we just. That's kind of the end of. We view that as the end of our weekend is the Tuesday because it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, little day break, Tuesday. Yep. You're wrapping some soap right now? Yep. Wrapping some soaps for a uh, wholesale order we got from a local business in town. So for this, it's going to be some gift sets, and there's going to be three different uh, sets of gift sets. Nice. Kale has his candles all set up and ready for pouring. Yep, just setting up the wicks here, making sure my wicks are right in the center of the jar. Looks pretty centered, I'd say. And make sure they're extra sticky there to the bottom. Yep. You're almost at full meltage here with our candle pot. And these are actually hemp wicks. Our company is focused on hemp and hemp oil. So we thought it fitting that we make candles with hemp wicks. And we've been really liking them so far, huh, Kale? Yeah, absolutely. Are we ready to pour? Uh, yep, just one more step before that. We are taking this off and going to mix in the fragrance oil beforehand. So yeah. take it off and we got our proper amount of fragrance oil in here. This is our Ooh, got steamy. Oh, Georgian geez. Bay scent. The camera got steamy there? Yeah, it did. It's just because of me. <laughs> <laughs> so our we call it Georgian Bay because that's where we live, but it's... Um, a nice ocean spa-like scent that is our company signature scent. People seem to really like it. We love it. And it's awesome that it's unisex because both men and women love it too. And a lot of products end up being blue with it, which is yeah very eye-catching. So then 
we mix this up for at least two minutes. Alright, so now we are pouring the wax in to the vessel. And I like to go on this side of the jar in case any wax falls on the table so it's not falling on the floor. <laughs> And these will have to harden after a bit and then we will get these ready to sell. You're just making the info cards for all of the, thank you Bush, for all of the packages that we've got going out. For all of the online orders. Yeah, we've got this guy and then we have some more over here that we're making and preparing. So, and we still gotta wrap these up. So, busy day, busy day. Busy day, and then I, this time of day, I kinda start feeling the time crunch because uh, <laughs> I like to, well, this market today starts at four, so, and it's a little bit further away, so yeah. I like to get out the door a little early so I'm not feeling rushed there when I'm setting up, but then, I don't know, mentally that kinda makes me brush here but I still got plenty of time yeah keep telling myself that yep and then we just got to drop off these packages too and then just a quick update on those candles that we made they look pretty solid they smell amazing too oh my goodness awesome you are preparing oh. uh <laughs> you're preparing a bath bomb um Package. Set for local pickup. Yeah. What are the bath bomb scents you got? We have got French Lavender, Georgian Bay, and Love Spill. Love Spill. Mm -hmm. And you got some bath mm -hmm. bombs wrapped for the market today? Yeah, I'm only doing So we include with every order just a little bit of an info card and also a thank you card. And this has a um, coupon code that people can use on our website and on our Etsy for their next order. And we think they're a nice little touch uh, if you're doing e-commerce to include something that talks a little bit about your company and um, the products and the ingredients that you use and also just to kind of give them a little reminder that you're really thankful for their business and to leave a review if they can. So. Yep, it's just something that we add in to uh, all of our online orders. So yeah, I just uh, think it's a a nice touch. What are you doing? Oh, I, I'm about <laughs> to leave for the market and I need a lip balm, so I'm stealing one of the testers. <gasps> Put that back. Just kidding, you can take it. <laughs> and don't forget these ones. We have our pair of coconut lip balms and our bubble gum lip balms. You have to take these to the market too. Oh, oh the, yeah. The lid wasn't on very well there. Back, I'll take those out. Yeah. So here is our car, all packed up for the market. Um, we like to bring towels just in case that it rains. It's looking a little overcast, so it's always good to be prepared. Sorry, our neighbor is putting in a fence, so that's the the loud sound you're hearing, but. There are our soaps in here and our shampoo and conditioner bars. 
our tablecloths, our risers, the signs, and we are good to go. Are you leaving in a bit? Yep, I just uh, gotta grab my stuff from inside. Okay. Okay, let's head it out. Good luck today. Thank you. And I will see you when you come home at around later on tonight. <laughs> Kale really enjoys going to these markets. You really like uh, talking to our customers face to face, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Get a good idea for what's going on out there in the community too. Yeah. It's just a good, it's just a good vibe. Mm -hmm. And we only have three of these markets left, so we gotta make the most of each one until winter comes. Right, Push? So as soon as Kale left, one of the things that I got going was a batch of French lavender soap. So I uh, got the lye mixed with water and that's going to cool down for a couple of hours. And while that's cooling off, I decided to wrap those bath bombs that we had waiting to be wrapped. All done. So I have the raspberry vanilla bath bombs here and then I decided to go ahead and wrap the Georgian Bay bath bombs um, as well. So everything is wrapped and we're gonna put these downstairs in the basement but there's a, where there's a dehumidifier and where sunlight can get them because the thing about bath bombs, um, actually with soap too, is if you leave them out in the sun for long periods of time, this beautiful vibrant color goes away, starts to fade. So you really don't want to have your bath bombs exposed to sunlight for long periods of time in order to preserve this beautiful bright color. So just a little bit of an info tip for you guys. So once I was done wrapping all those bath bombs, the lye solution was cool enough for me to mix it with the oils and I decided to do that so that I could pour my soap batter into the mold. And that's what I'm doing right here. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I make my soap, that video is coming out right after this one, so stay tuned for that. Hello. So it's now the next day and we are going to be cutting the loaves of French lavender soap that I made yesterday. So there you have it, another quick day in the life behind the scenes of a small business Etsy shop owner. I hope you found this video super informative and interesting. You kind of get to see what our day to day is like. So really hope that you guys liked it. And like I mentioned before, if you wanted to see a more in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how I make this beautiful French lavender soap, I will be coming out with that video soon, probably the next day. So keep an eye out for that. And please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos and hope that we see you for the next video. Okay, bye!